Pulp Capping Contents 1. Introduction 2. Treatment Modalities 3. Types of Pulp Capping 4. Indirect Pulp Capping 5. Patent and Measuring Device 6. Direct Pulp Capping 7. Features of Successful Pulp Capping 8. Pulp Capping Materials 9. Conclusion 10. References Introduction Treatment Modalities Pulp Treatment Conservative Radical 1. Protective Base 1. Pulpectum Y2. Indirect Pulp Therapy 2. Root Filling 3. Direct Pulp Therapy 4. Pulpotomy Pulp Capping Direct Pulp Capping Indirect Pulp Capping Definition The Procedure involving a tooth with a deep carious lesion where carious den removal is left incomplete and the decay process is treated with a biocompatible material for some time in order to avoid pulp tissue exposure is termed as indirect pulp capping. Indirect pulp capping therapy indications when pulp inflammation has been judged to be minimal and complete removal of caries would cause pulp exposure. Any signs of pulpal or periapical pathology, soft leathery, dentin covering a very large area of the cavity in a non-restorable tooth. C-O-N-T-R-A-I-N-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S Procedure The tooth is anesthetized and isolated with rubber dam all the caries except that immediately over the pulp is removed. Use large round burr at low speed a zone of affected demineralized dentin is left behind not all undermined enamel is removed a sedative dressing of either zinc oxide eugenol or calcium hydroxide is placed c-o-n-t-r-a-i-n-d-i-c-a-t-i-o-n-s the tooth may then be restored with zoe or amalgam the formation of reparative dentin beneath the caries average rate 1.4 microns per day the treated tooth is re-entered after 6 to 8 weeks and the remaining caries is excavated palpal protection with adequate base and permanent restoration. If the restoration has a good margin and at the recall visit a layer of secondary dentin is evident, re-entry is not necessary. Patent dentin measuring device 1 electronically measures the thickness of denon layer above the pulp chamber during crown preparation with a simple touch of probe. 2. Color coding green light, safe zone orange light, limit of safe zone red light, danger of penetrating through the dentin. 3. Allows the safe preparation of delicate cases elongated, tilted or deciduous tooth. Definition The procedure in which the small exposure of the pulp which is encountered during cavity preparation or following a traumatic injury or due to caries with a sound surrounding dentin is dressed with an appropriate biocompatible radio opaque base in contact with the exposed pulp tissue prior to placing a restoration is termed as a direct pulp capping direct pulp capping limitations in primary teeth internal resorption calcifications, chronic pulp inflammation, necrosis, intraradicular involvement, indications, small mechanical exposures less than 1 mm which is surrounded by sound dentin, light red bleeding from the exposure site that can be controlled by cotton pellet, traumatic exposures in a dry clean field which report to the dental office within 24 hours. C-O-N-T-R-A-I-N-D-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S pain at night spontaneous pain tooth mobility thickening of periodontal membrane intraradicular radiolucency excess bleeding at the exposure site purulin or serous exudate calcium hydroxide technique hemostasis disinfect cavity Calcium hydroxide IRM resin modified GIC dentin bonding system restoration dentin bonding system hemostasis disinfect cavity bonding system adhesive restoration pulp exposure features of successful pulp capping maintenance of pulp vitality lack of undue sensitivity or pain minimum inflammatory response lack of internal resorption and Intraradicular pathosis, pulp capping agents, calcium hydroxide, isobutyl cyanoacrylate, resin bonding agents, hybridization.
laser, propolis, other materials, antibiotics, corticosteroids, polycarboxylate cements, dentin, albumin, acid, alkaline, phosphatase, chondroitin, sulfate, collagen, calcium, eugenol, cement, calcitonin, barium and strontium hydroxide, native, enriched collagen solution, hydroxyapatite, Calcium hydroxide Calcium hydroxide is the material of choice. Herman in 1931 introduced calcium hydroxide for pulp capping. Calcium hydroxide causes necrosis of adjacent pulp tissue and inflammation of contiguous tissue. Dentin bridge formation occurs at the junction of necrotic and inflamed tissue pure calcium hydroxide. Advantages in Disadvantages of calcium hydroxide advantages. Initially bactericidal then bacteriostatic. Promotes healing and repair. High pH stimulates fibroblasts. Neutralization of acids. Stops internal resorption. Inexpensive and easy to use particles may obturate open tubules. D. I S A D V A N T A G E S doesn't exclusively stimulate dentinogenesis may dissolve after. One year, may degrade during acid etching and tooth flexure, marginal failure with amalgam. Condensation, doesn't adhere to dentin or resin restoration. 3. Main calcium hydroxide. Products pulped in paste. 52.5% calcium hydroxide suspended in aqueous methyl cellulose sol. Hydrix 2. Paste system. Calcium hydroxide, barium sulfate, titanium dioxide and a selected resin. Dichyl, isobutyl cyanoacrylate, hemostatic and bacteriostatic properties. Less inflammation than calcium hydroxide, doesn't produce continuous barrier of reparative dentin. Resin bonding agents, suggested as means to achieve a hermetic seal at the dentin palpal interface by means of resinous hybrid layer. 4. Methacryloxyethyl Trimelitate anhydride 4 meta bond can be used on exposed pulp. Laser Andreas Moritz in 1998 evaluated the effect of CO2 laser on direct pulp capping. Success rate 89%. Propolis recently used material equally effective as calcium hydroxide. Sabir et al. 2005 conducted experiments. Partial dentinal bridge formation was seen in rats after application of propolis in their study. Conclusion Pulp capping is a procedure that maintains pulp vitality in function, promotes healing, repair, prevents breakdown of periridicular supporting tissues, and promotes formation of secondary dentin. Pulp 